Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining us early this morning for our short little pep talk call. Um, I'm really excited about this call because I think a lot of people um, at this point in the month have either given up on their goal um, or feel like they want to. So I just want to start off with saying don't give up, keep going. Um, so I found a devotional today that's actually called Keep Going, Don't Stop, which I thought was appropriate. Um, the scripture comes from Hebrews, and it says, Wherefore seeing, we are also passed with, about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin with, which is so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for our joy that was set before him endures the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. And the message for today says, in the Greek Olympic Games of old, a unique race was won. The winner was not the runner who finished first. It was the runner who finished with his torch still lit. There are times in our lives when we feel like we just can't continue in the race. These are precisely the times when the enemy loves to assault us to the point of breaking and torment us saying, you'll never make it to the finish line. You might as well just quit now. This is the time we need to cling on to God's promises. The Lord will soon reward our diligence and all our toiling here in this world. Paul said, let us not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we do not faint. Let us allow God's wonderful promise to strengthen us and comfort us in each circumstance so that we can run the race, not to finish first, but to run together, side by side, the flame of our torch reaching the finish line, blazing brightly with fire for him. So I thought that was a really great place to put our heads at. Um, And I keep seeing all these messages that say, don't quit, don't quit. And I'm not pushing for a promotion this month, so I know it's for my up-and-coming diamonds. Um, even anyone that is pushing for a promotion at different levels. So I thought that we really needed to have this call along with the other double diamonds, Kara and Jen. Um, but we have a really awesome special guest today. Um, I wanted to introduce Jen and Caruso. Jen, are you on the line? I am. Hi, Jen. Um, Hi. Can you just tell everyone a little bit about yourself for people that don't know you? Um, how long you've been with us and where you're from? Um, I started February 9th, and um, I live in Matamoros, Pennsylvania, and I teach fourth grade, um, so I have the summer off, which is awesome. (laughs) (laughs) And, uh, yeah, and I, um, just reached Diamond May 31st. All right, now, Jen, you've had some pretty traumatic things happen in the past to you. Do you mind sharing a little bit of what that looked like for you? Um, yeah, it was um, it was just a lot of stuff um, that kept happening, and it seemed like I didn't have time to come up for air in between um, each new thing. Uh, uh, I lost my sister eight years ago um, in a car accident. She was 19, and that was kind of in my mind uh, when everything started off. And it seemed like from then on, it was just one thing after another after another. And um, my son was born prematurely. He was 2 pounds, 10 ounces. Uh, and at um, the same time, we lost our house to mold. We discovered a huge mold problem. Um, and we had to foreclose. Uh, my mom, the day I found out I was pregnant, my mom actually found out she had breast cancer. Uh, so that was really difficult because my pregnancy was difficult um, also, so that was hard to go through that. Um, I, lo- I lost one of my really good friends and uh, an aunt that I considered my mom also during that time. And um, my husband uh, was diagnosed with cancer three years ago, and uh, he was out of work, and he didn't get paid. He doesn't get paid when he doesn't work, so it was a, a very, very difficult um, time. And at that time, I was doing At Home America, so uh, I was able to pick up some parties and, you know, kind of make ends meet because I don't uh, make enough uh, teaching to cover our bills. And um, But it was still close, and there were very, very kind people that 
uh, came to our aid, really astounding stuff. Uh, but it was tough. It was just I felt at times that I had gotten on some, um, you know, list. <laughs> and I wasn't sure how. And uh, But I tried, you know, not to be mad and to just be faithful that somehow, some way that things were going to turn around. And um, they did. I, I really feel like I'm in a different kind of phase in my life right now. So I'm feeling really grateful. Wow. And I mean... I don't know how anyone would be able to get through all that, and I think that it's really special because you have such a light presence about you, and you're you're so happy that you would never know any of that. Um, so tell us a little bit about how it works, kind of came into your life, and and what the process to Diamond looked like. Because I know that you were really transparent with us about um, your journey to Diamond, so I'd like you to share that with the group if you don't mind. Um, I uh, came in through uh, Kim and Irene, and I'm a green, so it took me forever because I had to read everything and (laughs) absorb everything. (laughs) So I was not an easy um, recruit and probably a pain in the rear end. Um, But when I did finally decide to make the decision... Um, and I joined, I decided that I was going to do anything I, in my power to get to the good bonus. Um, if that was, you know, if my intent was to join the company and give it all I got, then that's what I was going to do. So I did. And uh, when I started, I seemed to, it seemed to kind of all be um, coming together and uh, I was working to get parties regularly, which I think is, is a key to it. Uh, because I think it's important to be in a place where people want to talk about your business and, um, you know, want to want to be customers and want to possibly be distributors. And so, you know, my intention each month was to book X amount of parties, and I did that. And um, I just did it. I just tried really, really hard to keep, keep going. And um, every day I worked my business seven days a week from the day I started. And I did something towards it. And um, towards the end, it was about a week before my diamond deadline, I really didn't think that it was going to happen. I really wanted to give up. I was tired and stressed and just overwhelmed. And it almost felt like it would have been better to just say, I can't do this. It, It was almost like a relief feeling that if I just said, I'm not doing it, then I could just take a break and breathe. Um and luckily I reached out to some team members who told me otherwise <laughs> that I should hang in, and um, I'm really grateful that they did, and I'm grateful that I did because uh, I made it. But it was not easy. I mean, I just, you know, listed all those things that I've been through in my life, and this was, you know, equally as challenging in a different way. It was very mental and very um, intense, uh, but very worth it. So, you know, I totally understand the inclination to want to just stop. But, um, you know, if you just kind of look in yourself and and see if you can, you know, stretch yourself beyond what you're comfortable with, then I think the reward is definitely huge. Absolutely. And now, for those of you who don't know, Jen got the good bonus the hard way. She got it by going diamond in her first three months, which is, Amazing, and um, I think that that is really, really huge that you didn't give up. Now, how many spots were you away from Diamond when you thought that you might give up at the end? Four. Wow. And, uh, yeah, and I and, had some and prospects, but not really. I mean, there, you know, there was only like, you know, one other potential that I was working with at that time. So some of them came out of the woodwork. So. Wow, and. And what did you do to just push through that? I mean, if you didn't have any prospects or anything, like what were some things that you did to just push as hard as you could? Um, I sent out some um, emails to people that I thought, you know, might be interested in the business and, um, you know, networked with a couple people at work, some of my customers that really had liked things and were kind of, you know, I thought maybe they might be thinking about it. 
um, the one that was the prospect, I did, you know, lay it out on the line with that person and say, you know, I don't want you to join if you don't want to. But if you your intent was to join at some point, you know, this is where I'm at. And, you know, I would appreciate if it was this month. Um, but again, you know, I wanted to make it clear that if this is not something they wanted to do, I didn't want them to join out of, you know, pity or, you know, trying to help me. But I think that's important too. Anyone that's pushing, like if they have people that, you know, maybe have been on the fence all along, like it's okay to lay it out like that, you know, and say if if your intent is to sign at some point, you know, could you help me out and do it now? That's awesome. Yes, I totally agree. Um, and did you have any other tips or, or messages that you wanted to share with us um, before I let you go? No, I just really, like I said before, I mean, I really just think, you know, um, partying or gathering, you know, and and getting wraps on people is really the key, period. You know, and there's really, in my mind, not, not, you know, too much else. It's kind of that simple. Like, just like the steps to success, you know, training, the whole thing about that. That's very true, I think. You know, I really think that's important. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jen, for sharing your story and your heart with us. And I think um, I your story is just so inspiring to me because I know that there are people out there that sometimes things might hold them back, whether it be fear or, or some type of heartache or distraction, and, and you just went and plowed right through all those. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you. <laughs> All right. Now, the last thing I wanted to say, which I thought was amazing, and some of you have done this already, um, I've listened to the Cami Dempsey um, summer call recently, and she was saying how you should take out a piece of paper. So if you're listening to the recording, or if you haven't done this yet, or if you're not driving, please take out a piece of paper, scrap sheet of paper. Now, Write down three things right now that are holding you back from your goal this month, whether it be a fear, whether it be a distraction, whether it just is your confidence. Write those three things down. Okay, now take that piece of paper and tear it up into tiny little pieces and put them on the desk or wherever you're sitting right now. When we get off this call, I want you to take those pieces of paper and flush them down the toilet. And when you're done, I want you to take a picture with the caption that says, I'm a finisher. Nothing will hold me back. And tag me, Tara, and Jen Piscopo, and Jen Peruso um, in your picture. Um, and so we can all kind of support each other. You can do this. So do that, and I don't want to keep you much longer because it is kind of early. I want you to get your day started, but thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. I really appreciate it. Jen or Tara, if you're still on the line, um, Jen Piscopo, do you guys have anything you want to add? Hi, this is Jen, Jen Piscopo. I just want to tell you just to believe in yourself, and no matter what comes your way and who tries to push you down, just push through it because you can do it. Absolutely. Kara, do you have anything you want to add? I would say just don't give up and just keep pushing through it and, you know, you never know where it might take you. Just push to the very last day. And you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you get to that end month and maybe you won't make it. But don't Make it dis- don't make it discourage you. Just move on. Get it out of the way. And if you don't promote, it's okay. You will get there. You, everybody has the um, ability to get to diving. So just keep pushing through. And if it doesn't happen, push it through for the following week. Um, but don't give up. We've heard, I actually um, heard a story that um, while we were, down in Florida, a girl did not make her diamond promotion. Um, it happened to be by one person did not run an auto ship. And we all know what Cammie says, auto ship is the law. 
Um, one of her distributors had a, an auto ship of $79. So she did not make her diamond promotion. She did not receive the good bonus. And that day, she quit. She quit with all those oh distributors God. underneath her. Um, you know, it was a really sad story. So, you know, whatever may happen and does happen, just keep it for you know, the following month, maybe you'll make double. So hang in there. Katie, can Absolutely. I say something too for a minute? It's Jen again. Um, I agree with, with that. I really... Um, you know, would like to tell everyone too to really just push. And even if you just, even if you just get part of your, like when I went for Emerald, because I tried to make it the month before and I didn't. I just had placement, but I had no volume. Um, whatever it is, I, I really feel like as long as you're moving forward, then that's the that's the key. You know, and and if you just give it all you got till the last day of the month, then then that's enough. You know, at least you can say that you that you did it as far as you could. And, and I believe, just like um, Jen and Kara do, that everybody will make it to Diamond if they have the, you know, the will to get there. It's totally doable for everybody. Uh, you guys are awesome. I'm so ready to just go out there and bless people today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for sharing um, your tips and everything. And, and Jen, again, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and I'm going to get the recording out to you all as soon as possible. But just don't quit. Just push with everything you've got today and the next few days. And just be a finisher. You can do this. So thank you, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to stop the recording. And, and thank you, Jen, for sharing your – No problem. Thank... You guys have a good day, okay? You too. You too. You too. You too.